How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now on today's show we're going to be talking about Ajax because reports are saying that 11 of their players have tested positive for coronavirus. Uh, we're also going to be taking a look at all of tonight's Champions League matches with two sides from England um, in action. And the last piece of news involves Arsenal and Mohamed El Nenny because Mikel Arteta has heaped praise on the Egyptian midfielder. I represent my fucking self. How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So the first place we're going to start is the news that broke yesterday about Ajax and 11 of their players have tested positive for coronavirus. Now, they're due to play in the Champions League on Wednesday against FC Michelin. Um, and this report in the Dutch media has said that um, that game is now in jeopardy. Now, the club themselves have not named who the players are. I think that's pretty standard uh, protocol now. Um, the players have got the right to privacy, first and foremost. But, um, yeah, the game... On Wednesday in the Champions League could well um, you know not go ahead and they're currently third in their group Michelin are bottom they've lost their opening two games um, Ajax have got one point and of course this is the same group that Liverpool are in um, but 11 players that is absolutely insane a lot of clubs are getting one or two at the most but 11 and it would be interesting to see whether these are 11 of the main first team squad or whether it's 11 players within a group which could also include under 23s, academy players, etc, etc. But from what the reports are saying in the Dutch media, this is 11 players that are part of the first team squad. And um, I know that Teams have to make do, shall we say. You see Juventus recently. They lost Cristiano Ronaldo of all players to coronavirus. They had to play the likes of Barcelona without him. And I understand that clubs have to carry on if there's one or two players missing. But how do you expect to play a Champions League game? A big game as well. It's the Champions League. With 11 players missing. Especially if most of those 11 are your big players how on earth do you deal with the fallout from that surely given the magnitude of the numbers they would have to say look we're going to postpone it this week get more tests and go on from there and see when we can rearrange and put the game in because that's mad absolutely crazy 11 players Crazy, but um, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens and whether that game goes ahead and also whether any names are revealed as to who actually has coronavirus. Um, now, sticking with the Champions League, of course, there's um, a full round of fixtures tonight in the Champions League. Liverpool and Manchester City are both in action um, and we're going to have a little quick look through um, the games and I'm going to give my predictions as well. First up, Locomotive Moscow against Atletico Madrid. Madrid are going to need to start winning games. And I think they will pick up the uh, points that they need in this game. And I will go with an Atletico Madrid win. Um, Shakhtar Donetsk against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, mm, interesting game. Mönchengladbach last time out against uh, Real Madrid, wasn't it? Um, let that lead slip and they're going to need to... You know, try and win this game. And I think that um, they will get the uh, victory they need in this one. Next up, we have Atlanta against Liverpool. Very interesting game. Uh, Liverpool, they will want to try and get this group done and dusted very, very quickly. Um, I don't know where I sit with this one. Atlanta, they're a decent side, you know. I actually rate them. I think they're a good side. I think they will cause Liverpool some problems. I'm going to go with a draw for this game. Next up, uh, we have Michelin, Ajax, of course. Um, we don't know whether that one's going ahead. I um, actually thought the game was Wednesday, but obviously, no, it's Tuesday. So everything that I was saying a little bit earlier on about the game Wednesday, no, it's meant to be tonight. So we're going to find out very, very soon whether this one goes ahead or not. 
Um, FC Porto against Marseille. Whew, I'm going to go with a home win for this one. And FC Porto. Um, Marseille, not good last time out against Manchester City. And next up is Manchester City against Olympiacos. And I think this will be a very comfortable home win for Manchester City. Uh, next up, we have Real Madrid against Inter Milan. Now, Real Madrid, they're going to need to sort themselves out big time. Otherwise, they can see themselves finishing third in this group and dropping down into the Europa League. Just our luck. Um, oh, it's going to be an interesting game. Not having no fans in the Bernabeu is um, obviously having an effect. No Cristiano Ronaldo and that Champions League buzz. I'm going with a draw for this game. Uh, Red Bull Salzburg against Bayern Munich. And uh, Bayern Munich win for me. They're an absolute machine. They are an unbelievable outfit. And I can't see anything but a victory for Bayern Munich. Even though it's at Red Bull Salzburg. Nothing but a Bayern Munich win. Absolutely nothing but that. I'll be surprised. I think they've won... A ridiculous amount of games in a row now. All of last campaign when they went on to win the Champions League. I think they'd won all their games leading up to it. Oh, the stats are mad. Um, and Bayern Munich are European champions for a reason. And um, I can't see them getting anything but a win in this game. So it's going to be very interesting. And like I said, I think those are the way the results will go. Um, and you're more than welcome to uh, let me know in the comment section what you think as well as to you know the results who do you think will win draw um and what the outcomes will be so yeah there we go um uh, next piece of news involves arsenal and uh mohammed el nenny i never thought i'd be sitting here talking about mohammed el nenny at arsenal and how good he has played in a game at old trafford I genuinely thought his time at Arsenal was over. When he went out on loan to Turkey, it was very evident then that he was surplus to requirements. Unai Emery didn't want him. He's came back. Mikel Arteta is now the manager. And everyone's immediate reaction is thinking, well, Mikel Arteta's not going to want him. He's going to be surplus to requirements. He'll be out of the door. There was rumours of, you know, clubs in Turkey that were wanting to take him back, etc., etc., he kind of was involved initially at the start of the season with the friendlies. I remember he played against MK Dons and everyone was like, oh my God, El Nenny's playing. Never thought I'd see the day again. And we had the Community Shield game against Liverpool and he played in that and he played really well. But everyone kind of looked at that and thought, you know what, he has to play at the moment because of the short turnaround, players were missing. So it was something that just had to be done. He was there playing. But everyone was thinking he would move on. Even I myself thought he would move on. But now he's looking to be an integral part of the team. And Mikel Arteta obviously rates him. Um, and Mikel Arteta himself has been speaking about Mohamed Elneny. And he says that Elneny's selfless attitude is the perfect example for certain players who are not currently part of his squad. Wonder who he's on about there. Um, the Arsenal boss has said, I like players who have zero ego, who want to contribute to the team, whether it's for one minute or 96 minutes, and contribute all the time to our culture by giving positive feedback all the time. That's not just on the pitch, but also on the training ground when you are not selected. What can you bring to the group? How can you help? And what are you contributing? What Mo transmits to the team is special. Don't forget that I played with him and I know his qualities as a person. Um, he has this energy to create a good atmosphere whenever he goes into a room. And we need that positive feeling that he always brings. Mo is a person that is admired by everyone at the club. And I think he was tremendous against Manchester United at the weekend. I always believed in his qualities as a footballer. And now I think he is showing them to everyone else. Um, that is high praise um, from Mikel Arteta. 
And um, I think it's very evident that hard work sometimes can definitely put you in the manager's thoughts. And I feel that now we've brought in a Thomas Partey, for example, I feel it's given us something different. I feel that we've got a bit of an edge that we didn't have before. And Mohamed El Ney seems to complement a Thomas Partey perfectly. I've said this so many times in the last week, but I used to nickname um, El Nini Mohamed El Sideways because all he ever did was play the ball sideways. And then now all I'm seeing is him play the ball forward, even at Manchester United. He's trying to break lines, the pressing and everything. And it's like he's got the room to do things that he never felt he could do before because he's got the insurance of having a Thomas Partey next to him. It's no secret that when you're playing with world-class players, that's going to rub off on you. And if you've got something about you as a player, you will be able to shine. And um, fair play to Mohamed El Nenny. And, you know, we all know his attitude is exemplary. Unbelievable attitude. He's perfect. He looks like the kind of guy that will genuinely just do everything that's asked of him. If he's not in the squad, that's fine. If he's, you know, got to be a sub, that's fine. If he's starting, great. He's going to go out there and give 100%. Um, and you see that even in the Manchester United game and what he was doing, the selflessness and the running and everything. Unbelievable and fair play to Mohamed El Nenny. Um, because obviously, Mikel Arteta likes him. And if he likes him, we back him. It's as simple as that. So there we go. That is it for today's DT's Daily. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think about today's topics. Let me know what you think about El Nenny, the Champions League games, and also um, the Ajax players, um, 11 of them, testing positive for COVID. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video. And I'll see you lot soon. I'm out of here.